Now we want to bring you a sneak peek of a Target 12 investigators exclusive red light revenue. Cameras have been recording red light runners in Providence for almost 10 years now. You may remember the system was projected to raise some serious money for the city. So we wanted to know where is all the cash? Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is live in our newsroom with a preview of what he's uncovered. Walt? When these cameras were pitched back in 2005, proponents predicted millions of dollars in new revenue and safer intersections. Target 12 filed an Access to Public Records Act request and we dug through five years of statistics that showed us which of the city's 25 camera equipped intersections recorded the most red light runners. A law passed in 2005 allowed the cameras to go online the next year, but the city was also obligated to make a lot of data about things like revenue and citations public. The ACLU has questioned whether or not the city has done that over the past decade. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry tells Target 12 he's confident the cameras have made intersections safer. He added that the cameras are about safety, not about the bottom line. But we looked into our archives and found that additional revenue was one of the predicted benefits by Mayor David Cicilline when he pitched the idea back in 2005. We discovered the revenue from citations has been disappointing at best over the years. And tonight we will show you how much the revenue has dropped and why fewer people are getting tickets. In the newsroom with the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Don't miss this Target 12 investigators exclusive red light revenue tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5.